Hiya, this is Nutty Rap Chick and this is your Bound for Glory review and results. It has literally just finished. It is 5 to 4 in the morning here. So I'm not going to be doing a long one. Um, first match and best match of the night. Motor City Machine Guns versus Generation Me. A good 3 and 3 quarters to 4 star match. I really enjoyed it. It was definitely a spot fest. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. Um, TNA knockouts championship match with Mickey James as the ref love seeing Mickey James I just think she's brill she does make me smile and Tara won which makes sense because you can have Tara feud with everybody in that five without I'm um, counting Mickey James as one of the five um, and have good matches so yeah that kind of makes sense to me um, Ink Ink versus Eric Young and Orlando Jordan. This was a blatant comedy match. But there was one bit where Eric Young and Orlando Jordan were both crotched over the ropes and then they and then they bounced them all together and they were just sliding closer together and butt bouncing and that just absolutely cracked me up. I I was in the call with um Kirsten Sabu TNA forever wrestling guy and I and Jamie and I was, I was wetting myself laughing and they were like what because they'd like given up watching that one um exhibition match Jay Lethal versus Doug Williams uh, yeah it was all right wasn't the best match ever but it wasn't too bad sort of two and a half three stars something around there I didn't do the stars to the ones that I um knockouts match one and a half I guess uh, one star for the Ink Ink versus Orlando Jordan because that one spot made me laugh and there are a couple of alright moves in it um, Monsters Ball match Rob Van Dam beat Abyss after hitting him in the stomach with Jam with Janice and doing a 5 star frog splash that was alright it, was, it wasn't a bad match uh, maybe 3 stars I guess um, handicap match Sting, Kevin Nash and Pope D'Angelo Gennaro versus Smojo and Jeff Jarrett and Jeff Jarrett walks out on Joe leaving um, Joe to get pinned by Nash for what is quite possibly his last match ever um, Brother Ray and Brother Devon announced the retirement of Team 3D which I must admit made me go a bit mm. I did like I do I there's still a part of me that does love Team 3D. Some of some of the best tag team matches of all time in like the TLCs and that sort of stuff was Team 3D and they have they have a big spot in my heart. Um Lethal Lockdown that was alright. Um the, there was a bit of a botch with Brian Kendrick on top of the cage and there was a bit of a fuck up with this because like they did the match on impact to decide who got the um advantage in the lethal lockdown and it was foley versus flair and foley won so ev2 should have had the advantage but they didn't they gave it to fortune which made no sense whatsoever to me so i was i spent the first like 10 minutes of this match going what the fuck but hey um, the last match was Kurt Angle versus Jeff Hardy versus Mr. Anderson um, Jeff pinned Anderson to win so Angle didn't officially lose so whether they're going to use that to stop Angle from retiring I don't know and they they, they did the end of it where they was Hogan, Bischoff, Jeff Hardy, Jarrett and Abyss. I, I, I really thought they could have done something better with the way they brought out they. I just thought it was a bit near. Um, it was a bit near. Um, I am really tired. I'm really sorry guys. 
the most annoying thing about the World Championship match is it was actually starting to be a really, really good match. Because it was a bit slow, it started to build up, and it was getting better, and it was getting better. And then Hogan and Bischoff came out, and the whole thing got thrown in the toilet. Which was really fucking annoying. Okay, so... Uh, if I'm being nice, Metal Sheet Machine Guns, three stars. Knockouts, one and a half. One for the Eric Eric Young, Orlando, Jordan, Bonanza. Ink Ink won that, by the way, I don't know if I said that. Uh, two and a half for Jan Ufer versus Doug Williams. Three, I guess, for Rob Van Dam versus Abyss. That was all right. Um, two for Sting Nash. And the Pope didn't really like the end, so maybe one and a half. One and a half, two, somewhere around there. Uh, lethal Lockdown, three. Wasn't a particularly good Lethal Lockdown. And didn't have any particularly good moments, but wasn't the worst lethal lockdown ever. Um, for the point up until Hogan interfered on the World Championship match, it would have been a three and a half star match and could have been a four star match. Um, with the interference, it probably knocked it. With the way it ended, I think the ending hurt it a lot for me. It would probably take it down to maybe a three-star match because it, it just it really hurt it in my opinion. Um, so that's pretty much my bound for glory, Bobbins. Um, everybody, please, 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 please go and vote. Go and vote for the YWC awards. I don't give a monkeys if you vote for me, but I do really want you to vote because we're all part of this community. And it's a really cool thing. I'll put the link to um, Kirsten's video where she did the announcement for it. Please, please go and vote because it's a really cool thing. And it's really cool for everybody to get people's names out there. Okie dokie. That's pretty much my summary. And I shall catch you guys later. I'm sorry if I'm talking really fast, but it is 4 a.m. in the morning. So I shall see you later, boys and girls. Bye.